the splendid sea views of Patia, pirate ships, full moon parties, to things to do in Patia. Never a dull moment. You've guessed it, you're watching this week's Inspire What's On Show. Roll those titles. Welcome to this week's fun-packed, filled to the rafters, what's on show, filmed on location at the city of variety, Patia. This town never stops. So let's start things off with Tommy D, Zaza and myself live on Fabulous 103 FM. Broadcasting live in Patia, 24 seven. Fabulous 103 FM. In the studio with us again this morning, Dan, good welcome. Welcome. Morning, morning once good again. Good morning, or welcome, one of the two, morning. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and may I add that you're both looking very smart today. Even our cameraman has come in smart. Uh, to be honest, uh, we noticed that of the four of us, only your wife hasn't got an iron. Yeah, I'm sorry, I did say it was the fabric, but you're not buying that, are you? No, I'm not buying that at all, mate. That came straight out of the washing machine. Okay, well, maybe I'll just lower my body like this, and the camera will just get a headshot. No, but I think it looks kind of nice. It's a cool shirt. Yeah, it's yeah, a small one. Oh, God's sake. You're chatting him up now, just because you're dressed as a schoolgirl. <laughs> Oh, anybody that comes in here, you chat up, don't you? Tommy! Tommy, it's good for business, you It is good for business, yeah, chat him <laughs> up, <laughs> get some money great. out of him, yeah, yeah. So, Dan from Inspire, every week you pop in to see us and give us an idea, first of all, what's happening over the weekend, and uh, after the break we'll be talking about what's happening next week, in and around the city, so that we know ahead of time, and we can actually go. That's it, As of opposed course. to finding out about it and reading about it afterwards. Yeah. What have we got lined up this week? Well, I hope you've all got lots of energy, because this weekend is... Super packed, super packed, and it starts this afternoon. And I again, I had to draw a line as to what to cover and what not. So we've got six events that I want to talk through for the weekend. And then in the second part of the show, two events that are quite nice. And one's very different, actually, and you're not going to expect it when I talk about it. So I'm not going to tell you anything about it, but I've never seen it in Patia before. Mm. So your mm. listeners, mm. do not go away. Mm. Listen to the rest of all of this. Does me- melted chocolate or mud? Or- oh, could we put a twist there? No, we, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, Tommy's going to switch off, but everyone else that's interested in things do. Let's start. It's the season of pool parties, because there's two this weekend. And um, the first one, let's start in chronological order, and that's the opening of the Flick Pool Club Pool Party and Grand Opening, which is on Cozy Beach. They've actually built it on Cozy Beach, you know, where the yeah, grass yeah. verges. It's actually on the, on the beach itself. Uh, no, sorry, you know the raised part, you, you, you walk down the steps, right. there's the grass verge at the top. Right. On, on a section there it's built, which means you've got absolutely stunning views. There's a, uh, an infinity pool there. Wow. It's, it's kind of a, a fine dining, uber cosmopolitan venue that you would go, and I don't think there is many places like that. In fact, I, I can't think of any other place, hence why I think this one might actually do very well indeed. So Cozy Beach area in Prattamnack, the pool party starts today, Friday, so some of us are going to have to get off work early if you want to go at this, at one o'clock. <laughs> Zaza, <laughs> you're not working, you're going to have to work. Uh, that pool party goes on till six o'clock, and then there's an hour gap, so it's a chance for you to go and... Uh, dry off. Cha- dry off, change your gear, dress to impress, I think that's the phrase. So my shirt, I can't wear it, it's not good, doesn't, it's not good enough, Tommy, I get know. Get the wife to bring you an iron. Uh, and this is one of my favourite shirts un- until now. But the proper grand opening is at seven o'clock, and there's um, some canapes, tapas, live entertainment. Sounds like a good night. Sounds like a good one. And that starts today, starts at one o'clock, and then runs all the way through uh, until midnight. Wow. What else have we got? Okay, so you need plenty of towels. So there's, there's one towel. Make sure it's dry, because the next day at the... Uh, it was the, formerly the Dusit D2. It's the Hotel Barracuda. It's the trendy white building next to the Avenue Shopping Centre on Second Road. Opposite 13-2. Opposite, sorry, 13-2. Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. It's the white pool party, uh, lots of entertainment, including bikini shows. Okay, what time is this? Again? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I, I could lie. I'm lying now. Give uh, Chamon, Cap. Give uh, Chamon. Uh, mud, mud, mud wrestling. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. What time is it? <laughs> You'll be the first one on the door. It starts. It starts at one o'clock tomorrow. I'll be there by midday. And it runs. At, yeah. Please let me in. I heard there was mud wrestling. <laughs> I'm oh, going to be doing the you. tickets for the changing room. <laughs> yeah, yeah let, me, let me help you there. It runs until 9 o'clock. It's free entry for girls, and it's 300 bar entry for the guys. But before you say that's not fair, there's a complimentary drink for everyone on arrival. Wow, that's and a good deal. And here's an even better part. Between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock, there's an open bar. Mm. So you're in one of the smartest, trendiest pool areas. Have you ever it's a been- boutique hotel, yeah. It's very nice. I've been there several times. Very nice. It's got a nice pool area. You wouldn't believe that you were on Second Road when you get there. No, it's like an oasis. Yes, it's, it's a real sort of bubble, isn't it? Mm. 
Um, so I think that's that's worth going to. So two good pool parties. Uh, golf, we mentioned this last week, but we sh- it deserves absolutely to be mentioned Ah, the again. LPGA, Women's Golf Championships. That's right. That started yesterday, and the final is on Sunday. Uh, just to reiterate, it's 60 of the best lady golfers across the world. There's a prize pot of $1.4 million, just to show you how important this is globally for the golfers. Now, it's, it's worth mentioning for this, that if you're going to go, and it's uh, recommended you do, you can buy tickets there, I know. You can buy tickets for the whole event, or you can buy daily tickets. But the easiest way to get there right now is to go around the motorway. Ah, because of the because new one-way Because of the closures on Soisiam Country Club Road. It makes your life is an awful lot easier if you go around. Just go down the new bypass, flick towards Rayon, and it's about the second turning down there. It's well signposted. Actually, that's good advice. Knowing, it is, because you'll spend, is the God knows how long you'll sit in Soisiam Country Club Road right now. You might get to see them lifting the trophy at the end by the time yeah, you get there. Yeah, pretty much. And okay. it's nice and clear once you get up the other end. Yeah, in actual fact, I've not uh, the roads that I've found, I've completely missed this congestion. I've just decided to go as wide as possible in, in, on my routes in and out of... I think, to be fair, that's what people, everybody needs to do. You need to find a route. If, if you go somewhere regularly, say you go shopping at Big C, find a route that gets you there from A to B rather quickly, as opposed to sitting in the traffic, because there is going to be an awful lot of congestion, probably for the next month, as everybody gets used to it. And then it's going to improve. People will get used to it. Yeah, well, my, I live in East Patia, right at the top, actually, and then have to get to Central uh, Platinum, where my office is. And I've noticed probably just a five-minute add-on on my journey, because I just go... Well, you're already in the city, you see. We're on the dark side. Yeah, no, I come, from, I come from East Patia, uh, so I just go wider and come in, and, I, and it's really quite a smooth route, just a bit longer, but I don't stop, and everyone hates sitting in traffic. Oh, unless you're listening to Fabulous 103, then it's kind of relaxing, isn't it? You don't mind how long your journey yes. takes. Yeah. In fact, why don't you go up and put some more one-way signs up so people are in their car? <laughs> we pay for the signs. <laughs> it was our idea. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you promoted the underpass. Yeah, works for us. What else have we got this weekend? OK, it's a flower show. Um along Beach Road and it's huge our cameraman uh, p- drove through there and said it looks beautiful and these are some of the best flowers from the eastern seaboard from as far as Tra, Rayong we mentioned that uh, mm. to Patia yeah. and the Chomb- Chombury area it's free and it just makes for a nice walk along the beach because we mentioned that since they've improved Beach Road it's actually quite pleasant to go down there that runs until Sunday um, two more before we go to break this is in East Patia in Soy Kautalo. This is, this is different. It's a celebrity gossip with David Hartnell. Now, David Hartnell apparently is a quite well-known New Zealand uh, gossip columnist. I thought he was Doctor Who. David Hartnell. Who would be David Don't worry, just keep going. Uh, You're too young. Would you know? She wouldn't know. She doesn't know what a Dalek is. I okay. You do now because I showed yeah. you on Exterminate, Google. But you, yeah, exactly. Yes. Oh, you do know what a Dalek yeah, is, I, yeah. She's been educated since she's been. <laughs> I've never heard a Thai person do exterminate. Do it again. Exterminate. Do it again. Exterminate. 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 Yeah. Got a deep, uh, yeah. <coughs> exterminate, exterminate. Yeah, really good. <laughs> Listen, let's get back onto this. Ty, Ty day Daleks day on Fabulous 103. <laughs> yeah, Impression Day with Zaza yes. on the What's On show. Uh, this this event is at the White Horse Pub, which is at the Grand Eastern on Cartolo, just uh, maybe 300 metres when you come off the Sukhumvik before the, the, the railway line. 500 bar entry includes complimentary drink and buffet dinner, and you get to hear this guy talk about all the gossip that he's been picking up around the world. It's all right, that sounds interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a nice event. And finally, and this one starts outside uh, the Fabulous studios 103, here at Fabulous 103. FM Studios at the indoor stadium. It's organised by City Hall. It's a Patia bike tourist race. Timings are quite good considering the, the road network we've got out there, so I wonder if they've had to change their route. 600 bar entry. It's a 60-kilometre uh, road race. There's four different races, two, two for men, two for women, uh, one's on terrain and one there's some off terrain which just sounds interesting and those that finish within three hours will all get a cup and a blazer so I think that sounds like Brilliant. A, a nice thing to just do just do it for the cup and the blazer if does you can do it within three hours does the cup have you oh yeah well okay yeah. before we go because we're just coming up to, we're going to have a pause for the cause and a song we're going to come back and find out what's happening next week I have a question for you you were talking about dress sense and we were saying our cameraman very smart this morning, despite the fact he's got a hangover because he had a birthday yesterday. So I was dressed up as a schoolgirl. We've all tried to Im- help to impress yeah. your viewers. Uh, I wonder, can that camera get on that screen or not? Can you, are you picking up that screen? Just see if you could. I'd just like to know that when, why it is that when we work so hard to help improve the quality of your show... you found something, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> uh, we're kind of worried about this. Well, so maybe it was something we could talk about during the break. Yeah, Martin and I like to work out and we have a lot of healthy respect for each other. 
Right. <laughs> Commercial break coming up now. Coming back with Sophie B. Hawkins. Then we're going to find out what's happening in and around the city next week with the team from Inspire. Welcome back. You're watching this week's Inspire What's On show. Let's jump straight over to Tommy D, Zaza and myself live on Fabulous 103 FM. Broadcasting live in Patia 24-7. Fabulous 103 FM. And we're back in the Fabulous 103 studios with Dan, who's uh, inspiring us by telling us what's going to be happening in the coming week after Monday. I do try my best to inspire. I think you're very inspiring, Dan. I often get picked on, I feel, for whatever dress I wear. In fact, I may wear a dress next week, and you'll, prob you'll probably like it anyway. <laughs> yeah, he'll mm, like Dan's it. Dan's Do it, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Lipstick, yeah. I'll tell you what, if you wear a dress next week... I don't uh, want to know what you're doing. We, no, please let us know in advance if you're going to wear a dress next week. OK, well, I'm not sure I can get a dress that I will fit into. Oh, no, of course, there's ladyboys in town. There's bound to be a shop that I can... Borrow uh... some from your wife. Are you insinuating that his wife is as big as he is? <laughs> She's no. pregnant, She's pregnant at the moment. That's what you just said. Oh, we could wear a maternity dress, that'll do. Yeah, maybe, we, maybe just for the fun There are things. people out there that will actually get turned on by that. But why don't you do it as well? Oh, yeah. OK. You, st you should do it. Yeah, it wouldn't bother me. Don't dare, Tommy. you do anything. <laughs> yeah. Don't okay. tell them all that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, come on. What's happening Let's next start. week? And I think uh, you must have seen the show last week when, after we recorded this, and there seems to be a running joke with Martin, our cameraman, that always does his pirate noises. I don't know why I asked him Ahoy to do Ahoy, me mateys. Well, I asked him to do an Irish impression, and it, it turned out as a pirate. I think this guy knew something that we didn't because, and this is a party that I've not seen before. It's the full moon, by the way, this Thursday. Uh... And full moons are something you normally associate with parties in Paquette or, or some of the islands. Well, there's a full moon party in Patia. That's the first, isn't it? I can't remember the last one of those. Yeah, full moon party in Patia. But it's on a pirate ship. That sounds even more fun. Where is Martin? I need his sound effect. Arr! <laughs> <laughs> Jim Millad, yeah. Martin Millad. He's been waiting all morning to come and do that part. And he got the timing wrong. It's on, it's on Thursday. The, the I'm looking for the parrot. Yeah, it should be. <laughs> Maybe he'll buy... It was his birthday yesterday. Why didn't his wife buy him a parrot and turn him into a real life... Don't think he invited her to the party, mate. I know where he had the party, and I don't think it, it wasn't a place you take wives. No, that's right. That's why he's in a good mood today. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm feeling good. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Tell us okay. about this pi uh, pirate party. Well, this is... It's Thursday. It's at the Ocean Marina Yacht Club. It's on a real pirate ship. And I've seen the, the picture, by the way, of this. It is a genuine pirate ship. I need to get the pronunciation right because it could, 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 it could be a travesty. When you say it's an original pirate ship, is it Indonesian? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's, don't go near them or they'll, <laughs> they'll kidnap you. They'll steal your oil, take all the oil out of your tankers. Interesting. They stopped all that, haven't they? No, they got I, done again last oh, week. Oh, did they? Yes. Maybe that's why they're here <laughs> and they're, they're having a party. Well, it's on the Admiral, Admiral Liquor. Can you put can you pronounce <laughs> Admiral Liquor? <laughs> or has Martin told me to pronounce that wrong? Is it Admiral Liquor? Is that the name of the boat? Really? It sounds like a or is it the kind of... Or is it the admir admirable liquor? Which is it? Admirable liquor. liquor. This, I'm telling you, <laughs> this, this, if you leave this, ladies and gentlemen, if you see this on your television, this is nothing to do with me. I wasn't here. It sounds like a place where you can have a good time anyway. Uh, it's a real-life party ship. It's 259 baht for tickets. Uh, just turn up. If you're a lady, so unfortunately not until next week when we wear our dresses, um, it's free between five and seven, so the, the boat opens at five, and it, and it just runs into the boat? hours. You're going to have to get yourself a taxi or drive. In fact, no, hang on a second. The boat's in the water. <laughs> in How the do you water? get into the boat? No, sorry, the, the boat is moored at the Ocean Marina. Oh right, so it's not going out in the ocean. The party is on the boat, moored on, on the at the Ocean. Boat, oh, it. okay. So if people fall off, they're going to fall onto concrete, not into the water. <laughs> yeah, so they'll only smash their head rather than. Uh, That's fair enough. It just, I just drown. need to know for next week's news. There will be a news story. It will indeed. Martin Carlyle, cameraman and pirate extraordinaire... Was pushed, was pushed <laughs> from a pirate ship, yes. I'll tell, uh -huh. you, I'll tell you about something that is worth mentioning, especially if people are having a very special occasion, weddings, birthdays, uh, anniversaries, things like that. And we discovered it this week, uh, which is the Café des Amis, mm, which is very nice. the gourmet restaurant for Patia. Now, went down there on Tuesday uh, for a rather special evening. And hangover and, next day? Yes. Yeah, I did have... Shut up, don't tell people. Don't tell people. Um, five-course gourmet meal on offer down there. And we're talking about imported food, imported meat, imported mm. um, fish, but the very, very best. I mean, you know, it, it, the, uh, they were explaining to us, you know, when you see Wagyu beef, everybody's selling Wagyu beef. You can buy mm. Wagyu beef in Fred's Fish and Chip Shop, but Wagyu beef comes in different grades, and they buy the very... Anyway... You need to try it. It's really worth it. It's not your everyday, let's nip out there for a quick lunch place. 
it is a place for very special occasions. But if, our, if your viewers or our listeners are looking for somewhere to go for a special occasion, Café des Amis. Yeah, that is the best service anywhere I've been in Patia. Don't amazed. tell her, she's never, we're not taking her. Oh, I've she, been there before. Yeah, yeah with other men. <laughs> and it, no, I, I, I'm with you there, and I had the beef Wellington, and 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 you know what? I found the price really reasonable. It is such a five it star is. restaurant. It is, and this mm. five course gourmet meal, uh, if you can get through it, I mean, even if you can't, but it, it, you, <laughs> it is so such a variety of food on that menu. It really is enjoyable. Mm. Okay, let's go there. Anyway, one more event before we, we wrap up for another weekend, and it's one for your diary. This one because this stood out for me because I think we we had a. A friendly debate last time. I said there was no culture in this town, and you said, no, there's plenty of culture. There's loads of culture in this town. What are you talking about? Well, anyway, next Sunday, the Thailand Philharmonic Orchestra... See, that culture. The Thailand Philharmonic Orchestra... That's right. Well, I've lived here too long, haven't I? ...is playing in in Patia this Sunday. In East Patia, at the... What is it with all the names of these places? I'm going to struggle again here. The Porn Prapa Botanic Gardens, near Soy Country Club. In East Patia. So if you head up just for Mapchan Lake, you'll Pon see that. You can print. Is that right? Yeah, Have... that, that's the name of the road, Pon Ah, okay. Actually, that, that road called Pon Brapa Nimit. It's mm. botanical gardens, not mm. botanic gardens. Botanic gardens Somebody's okay. made a typo mm. there. But it is going to be a nice evening. And if you enjoy classical music, I mean, this is a fantastic orchestra. This is not Mickey Mouse now. This is a fan. And outdoor orchestras are amazing. Yeah, and it's free. I like. Okay. Already get she's into there. that because it's free. So it's next Sunday, but I'm sure we'll remind you on next week's show to get down there. Absolutely. Okay, that's it. Brilliant. Just a reminder uh, to your viewers, if anybody calls you, we have a new campaign at Fabulous 103, if anybody calls you a farang, a farang is a vegetable. We are no longer farangs. We are CDCs. Chow dang chart. Great. And uh, we're, dang yeah, chart. we're going, over the next couple of months, we're running this whole campaign at 103. T-shirts coming out in about two weeks' time. Get your, get, get your CDC shirt that says in Thai, I am not a Farang, I am Chow Dang Chart. If you want to be a Farang, you have to wear a Singer shirt, spill beer down it and wear socks with your sandals. OK, well, I'll go for the latter. I'll be a CDC. Dan from Inspire, thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Have a great week. Thanks, Tommy. Great stuff again. Uh, you join Martin and I, 39 floors up on Wagamat Tower in Naklua. Very scary, but the views are spectacular, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I think we can just have a look around the bike there and we can see the whole Bay of Pattaya and uh, a little bit of Kolarn Island and um, the Wongamat Beach. Excellent. Yeah, and yet again, we're sitting in the sun, moaning about it, sweating. It's what we kind of do best. Yeah, this is the, the this is now known as the two old guys round a swimming pool show. <laughs> that made me feel bad about myself. A <laughs> couple of things we missed on the radio for the weekend ahead, and they're both wine parties something close to my heart. And the first one is on Saturday at the Havana Bar, and it's the Burginger wine uh, tasting. It's a Californian wine tasting evening. There's finger food that will complement uh, the wines as you, as you progress throughout the evening. Starts at six, six o'clock. It's 899 bar net per person. The one I'll be going for, and I imagine you too, is the 1,390 bar net, which includes one bottle of premium wine that you can take home after you're drunk as well. Sounds good. We won't make any of the same jokes we done last week no. about forgetting the, the, the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the second one, so this is wine, this is on the Sunday, this is at the Cove pub, which we actually have filmed on location there. Yeah, a few weeks ago, yeah. Before, nice pub, over a hundred varieties of beer. Aha. <laughs> yeah, we spoke about pirate ships <laughs> as well. Thought I'd squeeze my pirate in there again every week. <laughs> <laughs> one trick pony show. <laughs> Martin and his pirate impression. Yeah, but it's allowed because the interior's done up like a, you know an old sailboat from the ye oldie days of pirates hunt, isn't it? You know, so yeah, we're allowed to pirate link anyway. Yeah, it's your local. So tell us about the wine, Dan. Okay, it's a free wine tasting, free, uh, and it's seven different Portuguese wines that oh, you can nice. get to try. And there's also entertainment by Barry Upton, known known guy in town. Starts at six o'clock on Sunday, and the Cove is located on Soy Nine in Jom Tm. Yep, right beside the beach, actually, right almost there. You know, and that's uh, going to be that's going to be an interesting evening if you like Portuguese wine. Yeah, yeah. the Cove Pub. A unique styled pub nestled in Jomtien, one minute from the beach. The inside wood layout is designed to look like an old style wooden ship, complete with web netting and decking. We have over 100 different beers for sale, as well as great food, such as our signature smoked pork ribs. We show all live sports, including the English Premier League. We have good parking facilities and, of course, free Wi Fi. The Cove Pub, 
We are located in Soy 9 of Jomtien Beach Road. For more information, find us on Facebook. Martin, question for you. Hmm. <laughs> How many people live in Thailand? Oh, crikey. 50 million. Okay, he's wrong. It's just over 60 million. Oh, well, it wasn't far away. Well, I don't know, 10 million. If you've got 10 million people <laughs> in the room, it'll be pretty crowded. Um, I just wanted to find out if I wanted you in my quiz team. Right, okay. Because the sportsmen do a quiz night every Thursday oh, okay. from 7 o'clock. The sportsmen pub and restaurants in Soy 13 slash 1 near the Avenue Shopping Centre on Second Road. Listen to this. It's free entry and it's free pie and chips. Okay. So you can stimulate your brain and fill your belly at the same time. And it's very popular. So if you think you know lots of trivia, Martin. Yeah, and wouldn't that, why has nobody ever televised uh, a quiz show on TV in Patia? There's a question for you. Not sure. Now, <laughs> another pub that used to have a quiz night, actually, and it was a very good one, but they since stopped, is the Punch and Judy. Right. Soy 17 off Second Road, I believe, and Soy 8 off Tebsit. I've got that right, haven't I? Yeah, I've got it, indeed the home of the English Carvery. Now on a Tuesday, so this is for drinkers, every Tuesday, Heineken's 89 bar a pint. And they've also got deals on a range of other pints and Magnus as well. Okay. So that could be your Tuesday club rather than your Friday and Saturday evening. Yep, game of pool, a little bit something to eat, perfect. And a few pints and you probably don't break into your 500 bar. Yeah. Um, Rock the Sausage we've spoken about before, but we'll mention it again because I think it's a, a terrific little takeaway and sometimes it can be a bit tiring in terms of what you eat. All I'm going to say is it's German authentic sausage, very tasty, fresh home bread, home cut chips, and some really nice sauces actually that really yeah. make, make all the difference. Yeah, you get a little selection of sauces which you can smother in the, the sausages and they're very tasty. Yeah. Tasty. Second road on the corner just about by uh, Soy Diamond. Yeah. So if you're stumbling back from Walking Street then do pop in there, it's 24 yeah. hours. And it's getting more and more popular. Every time I walk past there seems to be people in there, so mm. that's a good sign. Yeah, Massage, uh, the promotion that we've spoken about already, which is at Nirvana uh, Massage in Soy Post Office. 75 minutes for the price of 60. Just mention Inspire, uh, and the 15 minutes are on us. Excellent. Uh, Ko Chang, I was in Ko Samet actually a few weeks ago, Martin. I don't know if you've been to Samet recently. Yeah, I went um, in, uh, quite a while back there, but um, I, was, I must say I was actually disappointed. <laughs> you know, I'm much, I'm much more a fan of Ko Chang. Yeah, well, I, I really liked both of them for different reasons. You know, Cosmet was more intimate, it was a ferry, and you couldn't take a car, and it was quite quite cosy. Yeah. Now, I did go on the weekend, but it was absolutely heaving. Yeah. I think what I remember from years and years ago, when I first um, arrived in Thailand, and Samet was a, was a real island feel. There was no electric. You had to walk down this kind of um, dark country path in the evening when you were late coming back from a beer so there was this real kind of yeah uh, no street lighting because exactly, it was a bumpy dirt you know, track and when we went back last time you know there was 7-elevens and in internet and stuff you know so maybe it lost the island feel a little bit yeah it has and it's the proper roads that take you through the island and yeah. the beaches are, are just full there was live bands playing on the beach and at Ploy Tulay, where I used to like to go on the main beach this barbecue now stretches along you know maybe half a kilometre yeah um, so the reason I wanted to sort of bring this up is Ko Chang, because of the size, you still can disappear to some beaches and have that, mm -hmm. that island feel. And if you did want to head down there, Paddy's Palms and 15 Palms on the White Sands Resort, which is one of the first main ones you come to, is probably the best place to, to yeah. start your trip down there. Yeah, lovely clean place, nice swimming pool, and uh, they do great breakfasts and food in the bar at night. Yeah, I think it's about three and a half hours to get down to the, the ferry terminal down in, in Trart. Yeah, you make me jealous. Yeah, well, I've not, I've not been there for a while. Competition time. We all like a competition, don't we? Yes, we like competitions. And we've got good competitions here on the What's On Show. Yeah, it's a real shame, isn't it? But we get uh, customers give us these competitions and we can't apply. Anyway, it was Cafe Lamar that we featured last week. Uh, lovely restaurant, John TM Beach Road. Famous for so many different reasons because of the quality of the food. They've got a wood fire pizzeria as well, mm -hmm. which, is, which is very good. Uh, and they gave a, a voucher for 1,200 baht. The winner this week was David Tremel, so I've emailed you, so do come back to us and get your voucher from the office. Lucky you. And there was a lot of interest in this competition, Martin, so maybe there's a lot of foodies watching in Patia. Can I just say that whenever Andy in Patia runs a competition, enter, get your name down there, because you've actually got a really, really good chance of winning, you know. Mm. And think. testament to that is I've won a trip to Australia, business class, 
uh, just by entering a competition in Patia. Yeah. That's yeah. some competition. Yeah, so make note of what we're about to sell you here and send in your entry. Come on. Yeah, do try it. Because yet again, Cafe Lamar have said, okay, all right, we'll give you another voucher for 1,200 baht. Just email myself, Dan at Choice Group Asia. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. That's the tagline the, on the, the subject line on the, and where should the email you? And one lucky winner will win, and we'll tell them next week, and the email again is dan at choicegroupasia.com. Good. I'm hungry. Mm. Get that down there. And you could win a voucher for Cafe Lamar. That's right. Thanks. Now let's go over to some sport. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the sport for the week ahead. It's in conjunction with Fraser's Sports Bar on Topria Road, and we welcome a new bar iRovers in Soy LK. Now, if you wondered what the I meant on iPad and iPhone, then I guess it was Irish because that's what iRovers uh, stands for. So, welcome aboard. Here's the sport. Uh, we look at the English Premiership for Saturday, 7th of March. And the first match was the postponed QPR v Tottenham. That's a 10 o'clock kickoff. Then it's FA Cup action. So, 7.45, Bradford v Reading. Half 12 uh, at night, Aston Villa v West Brom, so a Midland derby there. And then going into Sunday, FA Cup action again, 11 o'clock, Liverpool v Blackburn. And then there's a Monday night, uh, Tuesday morning FA Cup, massive match this one, 2.45 if you want to stay up, Man United v Arsenal. That's your sport for the week ahead. Now let's cross over to Bangkok with the lovely U. And bear with her because her English is getting better. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. And here is some event for you to try for this week. Okay, let's start with Sade O Watanabe Group in Bangkok. The special romantic and charming jazz music with one of Japan's successful jazz saxophonist Sade O Watanabe in Bangkok. The hit song like When You Make a Home at Royal Paragon Hall 3. Uh, 5th floor, Sayang Paragon on Wednesday, March 4 at 7 o'clock. Ticket price for 500 baht until 3,500 baht at Thai Ticket Major. The next one is New York Dark Room. The art space turned into a dark room for American and Swedish photographer Hans Jasper Sirex shot from his time in downtown New York in the 80s and 90s at, at Speedy Grandma. Jerome Kung Soi 28 on March 6 until 29. Okay, the last one is Thailand Classic and Supercar. Uh, the Riverside when you bring together a hard selection to hard to find classic and the last test sport car. The avenue run until Sunday, March 8 at Asia Tick, the river fun. Okay, hope you enjoy the weekend. See you next week. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, Sue. Now, if you say it to yourself, I do understand her. Yeah. You do understand her. Actually, what we'll say is, see when you actually read the, um, the, the, you know, the title down the bottom, it makes more sense. <laughs> What's so strange about her is she's worked in media for, what, six, seven years in town and actually had her own TV show yeah. at one point, which most of you won't realise. She her English was, was the original girl about town. She was. Yeah, yeah. Now she's uh, plus 30, <laughs> woman about town. Um, Martin, that's another show. Be before we talk about Wongamat Tower, where we are now, because Martin has become fairly famous in town for his pirate impressions. Arr. Are you going to go to the pirate ship on Ocean Marina on Thursday the 8th of March? Um, I, will, I will strive to get down there. As soon, if I can find a pirate outfit, I'll get down there. Okay. I can see the publicity <laughs> posters with a picture of you and celebrity guest Martin the Pirate will be there, Mr Pugwash. Arr, arr. Um, so Wongamat Tower, why don't we tell a Tell our viewers a little bit about this because we are on the 39th floor yeah. and we're being somewhat teased because the sun's beautiful up here. There's a nice breeze and that infinity pool is just begging for us to, to have a swim. Yeah, well, every week we always try to come up with a different uh, location for the show, you know, to try and make it interesting um, for the viewers and stuff. So I thought this week we would come up to, this is Heights Holden's flagship um, project. Uh, you know, we're at the 39th floor here, almost right on the Wongamat Beach. There's literally a stone throw. The view is superb, you know, and um, they've 
have actually still got units available. Now, the good thing about this place is it's built, it's ready, it's ready to move in, you know, you can get the key tomorrow. So it's none of these kind of off plan where you're waiting and you, you don't know, you know, how the, 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 the construction's going to go. This is finished. Yeah. And they've even got like kind of two bedroom units with their own private elevator and, and stuff fight, in here, yeah. you know. So um, actually what th we thought we would do is actually have a little look around the, the project. Um, we've done a video here just recently, so I thought we could have a little look. Okay, let's do that. Okay. It's not often that a developer constantly refers to one of their projects as the flagship, but today no other term seems fitting. Welcome to the Wongamat Tower. The Wongamat Tower is a 38-storey, state-of-the-art condominium positioned in a tranquil seafront location. A mere stone's throw from Wongamat Beach, the Wongamat Tower's serene location and ultra-modern design combine to create an unparalleled living experience in Pattaya. Before we go down and look at the beach location, let's go inside and have a quick look at the Wangamat Tower facilities themselves. The high-class, relaxing lifestyle starts at the rooftop infinity swimming pool with a jacuzzi zone and large sun deck. We also have an in-house fitness club with games room as well as a business and leisure centre. For a completely different perspective, you can swim in our massive ground floor infinity edge pool or laser day away at our open air lounge area. Parking certainly won't be a problem with our separate covered parking complex with rooftop lawn. All of this with 24 hour security, keycard entry systems, and CCTV. So, as you can see, it's first class facilities all the way here at the Wangamat Tower. But let's go on up to the showrooms on the sixth floor and take a look at the actual units. The apartments are fully fitted with European standard kitchens and bathrooms, pre-installed air conditioning units and quality aluminium window and balcony frames. We're also featuring full balcony and interior tiling, built-in wardrobes, internal glass doors and secure steel core entry doors. All apartments and public spaces in the Wangamat Tower offer endless vistas from morning to night thanks to the transparent glass walls from floor to ceiling. Okay, so you can see how breathtaking it is, and it really is, Martin. As I sit here now, I can see the Sanctuary of Truth to my left. Yeah. And then I turn around and I can see Patia Bay. It's a lovely breeze up here too, so, you know, although we're, we're sitting in the sun as we normally do with shirts and, you know, trousers on, it's actually a nice breeze, so we're not overly warm. Mm, so from us guys at Inspire, this is really something for us to aspire to for where we want to live. Okay, Martin. I know you've got something very interesting, a musical for us to sign off for another week. Over to you. Yeah, well, my part of the show has always come up with something that we can show at the end of the, the What's On show. And this week, uh, a good friend of mine who's a guitarist called Santos got married um, just last week there at the Pullman Hotel. It was a great, great um, event and he'd done some songs and stuff. And I thought, since Santos is kind of uh, a musician around town in Patia, mm. that we could show a little bit of his singing. Um, and you can actually, you can catch him in the New Nordic, um, the Pullman. Um, and I think he's got a few other places, Siam at Siam Hotel too. So have a wee look on Inspire, find out where he's singing and you won't be disappointed. So I thought we'd play out with one of Santos's songs. Sit back, we'll, relax. Good, we'll see you all next week, guys. Bye. Mia, aunque tú vayas por otro camino y que jamás nos ayuden en destino Hasta tu misma Sigue siendo mía Mía Aunque con otro Contemples la noche Y da alegría Hagas un derroche Nunca te olvides Que sigue siendo mi Abra 
más de soñarme Hasta tu misma dirás que eres pues mi hija Lazos, no habrá quien se paga llorar en tus brazos. Nunca te olvides que sigue siendo, pues, pero mía, ay, mía.